How do you set a default value on an HTML date input? You know, I don't know if we can do that with just HTML, but with a little bit of JavaScript, I think we can get this done. So let's get into it. For today's quick tip, we'll be using some HTML as well as a bit of JavaScript. If either of these topics are unfamiliar to you, we've got you covered. We have entire courses dedicated to just the basics on HTML as well as JavaScript. So check down below for a link to those courses and let's get into how to set a default value on a date input. So let's first start off with a brand new project. All I have in here is an HTML file with some boilerplate code ready to go. As you can see, it's just a simple input element. Not a lot of people know that there's actually multiple input types that we can use. Date will give you a date picker right out of the box. Pretty cool, right? Well, today's question is how do we get a default value in this date input? First, let's ask why would we want to? Well, it's generally a pretty good user experience to have today's date, let's say, as a default value if that's the assumed value the end user may want to use. So let's see how we can get today's date as our default value for this input. As I mentioned in the intro, we'll need to write a little bit of JavaScript. So you can choose to write this in your HTML file inside of a set of script tags, or you can create a JavaScript file and link it. I'll choose to create a JavaScript file named script.js and I'll just link it right before our closing body tag. If you've never written JavaScript at all and don't understand it yet, feel free to just copy down the code that I write and you can get this code by checking down below for a link to the repo associated with this project and just copy the code from there. I'll go ahead and paste in some JavaScript and we'll go over what I wrote. Starting at the very top, we see document.addEventListener DOM content loaded and then our code between some curly braces. DOM content loaded is basically saying once all the elements on the HTML page have loaded, let's run the following code. The first thing you see inside of our code is a variable called date input, and it's equal to document.querySelector input, which is targeting our input element. It's important to note that you'll probably wanna be more descriptive than just selecting the input element, because if you have multiple inputs, this will cause some issues. But for the sake of this small quick guide, I've just kept it pretty simple. After that, on line three, we see a variable called today, and it's equal to new date. New date returns the current date, but it's not that easy. It's not formatting correctly, so we'll have to write a little bit more JavaScript. So we create three more variables, one for the year, one for the month, and one for the day. And they all take in the today variable and format it the way that we'd like. Then we have one more variable, which we call formatted date. And that's equal to each of our three variables, year, month, and day. And finally, we take our date input variable and we say that its value is equal to our formatted date. Now for me at the time of this recording, the date is July 29th, 2024. So let's see if when we refresh the page, our date input value is automatically updated to today's date. Look at that, it works perfectly. So that's a quick way on setting a default value for your date input. If you'd like to know more about JavaScript dates, I'll link some helpful resources down below. And again, check out our HTML and JavaScript basics courses to learn more about those topics. Want to hang out with us and a bunch of other developers? Check down below for a link to our community Discord server, as well as a link to a free trial. And I'll see you in the next one.